we have this, this handy fusion reactor in the sky called the sun, okay? <laughs> you don't have to do anything, it just works. You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Togogo here. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about Costa Rica running entirely off renewable energy, a feat that does spell some hope for our current climate situation. In the video, I discussed how Costa Rica managed to achieve this through geothermal and hydroelectric power. But this setup isn't ideal for every country on the planet. So what about a new approach? A game-changing method for clean energy for the entire world. Elon Musk and his company Tesla plans to provide the solution. His company's home battery technology is causing a lot of hype after all. For Tesla, their electric car was just the starting point to change the way the world uses and stores power. If you think about the, you know, the internet revolution that happened in the 1990s, this is another revolution that's happening in energy. So whereas in the 90s we spread you know, information to the entire world, now we're, sp we're spreading clean energy to the entire world. A couple of days ago in a press conference filled with an atmosphere of excitement reminiscent of a late 2000s Steve Jobs keynote, Elon Musk revealed a brand new branch for his Tesla company, Tesla Energy, and its first product, the Powerwall. So uh, what I'm going to talk about tonight is about a fundamental transformation of how the world works. Basically, the Powerwall is a polished plug-and-play battery system that takes energy from the sun or the grid during the day, stores it, and uses it during peak times in the evening. It costs between $3,000 and $3,500, and as the name suggests, it's small enough to hang up on a wall. It's designed to look more like an art feature rather than a piece of technology that powers your home. Users can stack up to nine of them together to power as much as they need. The batteries are said to last 10 years with no maintenance, but does require a professional to install. Elon states that his company's technology will change the world, and I can somewhat agree with this, with solar efficiency getting up to 40% and costs falling thanks to China's manufacturing output, cheaper green energy could become a reality. Using the United States as an example, Elon states that with the aid of his battery technology, we would need solar panels the size of the land area shown here to rid the entire United States of fossil fuels. And most of that, most of that area is going to be in rooftops. So it's, it's, you, you won't need to disturb land, you won't need to find new, new areas. The obvious problem with solar power today is that it's very primitive in the sense that it's direct usage and once the sun goes away, it's game over. This is where the Tesla Powerwall wants to make its hallmark on history. The battery will smooth out solar energy generation and store it for peak time use at night, where most of the energy is used. According to Elon, it would now be possible to completely go off the grid if you already have solar panels. So that's all very encouraging, but there's something missing. What if you don't have solar panels? Well, as it turns out, you can still save money on energy costs. You can just simply store the energy from the grid during the day when it's cheaper, and then use it at night when the rate is lower. It kind of makes sense either way, but as we'll soon see in this video, it's not actually the full story. So of course, energy storage from solar panels has been done before, but not really implemented properly. Usually it's about three times more expensive, doesn't last nearly as long, looks terrible, and does require some effort to get it up and running. You know, you need to combine multiple systems. There's not one integrated uh, place you can go and buy a battery that just works. Here's one way to think about it. It's much the same scenario as the electric car before Tesla or the smartphone before the iPhone with its capacitive multi-touch screen and a capable OS that was scaled down from the Mac. Tesla also announced a fully scalable power pack that it plans to sell to corporations to power organizations on an industrial scale. In usual Tesla fashion, all the patents for this have been released for free to encourage competition. Okay, so what? You might be thinking, I just want proof that this actually works at all. Wow, the grid, it's actually zero. <laughs> this entire night has been powered by batteries. Of <laughs> Not only that, the batteries were charged by the solar panels on the roof of this building. So this entire night, everything you're experiencing is stored sunlight. This kind of sounds too good to be true. Well, a lot of people are thinking the same thing, and opinions are split all over the internet. Forbes is stating, taking solar panels into effect, that places like Texas will have cheaper energy costs holding onto the status quo as it stands now. Whereas states where energy is more expensive, like California and Hawaii, will save money with the first generation Powerwall. 
but let's dig a little bit further. What nobody is talking about is the Powerwall's actual output. Although a single Powerwall can output 10 kilowatt hours, it's only capable of 2 kilowatts of continuous power output. If this sounds like gibberish to you, all you need to know is that 2 kilowatts isn't really enough to power the average household at peak times. For example, you can't boil water for your coffee in a 1500 watt electric kettle at the same time as making toast in your 950 watt toaster. So as it turns out, a fully off the grid home would probably need two Tesla power walls. And that's not because it can't store electricity efficiently, but because of its limited power output. So that's a point that a lot of other people have been missing. So realistically, this kind of technology will change the world, but not just yet. So where would this technology work best? Well, the places that will benefit the most are remote areas or villages where power is limited or unreliable, areas where energy is expensive, and places with lots of sunlight and an already established solar panel user base. Places like Australia, where I live. So in conclusion, although this technology and this approach is absolutely amazing, this is just a first generation product. This is the very worst it can be. It's just the start. Think about mobile phones, for example. Back in the 1980s, they used to cost a fortune to own and operate, they were big and bulky and heavy, and they only lasted a few hours and needed giant masts put around the country to even function properly. The fledgling first generation of any industry is a far cry from what it ends up being at the end point. It can be said that the point of what Elon is doing is to create an infrastructure that will reduce our reliance on the grid, helping solar panels become more persuasive so we can reduce our use of carbon fuels. It's about making our actual needs for energy more sustainable, and that's a good thing. So, you future entrepreneurs out there, take note. Anyway, this has been Togogo. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, give a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cheers, guys. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.